this is a very old Irish story. There's no way of knowing exactly how old it is, but it goes back to at least the 6th century. There was a prince named Angus. He was a very handsome, but very arrogant young man. He was, in fact, the handsomest man in all the kingdoms surrounding his. And many of the surrounding kings had sent word to his father saying, I have the daughter that would be a good wife for your son Angus. But none of these women were good enough for Angus. He was very arrogant. I thought no one was good enough for him. One night he had a dream. The most beautiful woman he had ever seen. Long flowing red hair down to her knees. Sparkling green eyes. And he was so stunned he couldn't speak. For six nights he had the dream of this beautiful red-headed woman. And finally on the seventh night he had the courage to ask her her name. She said, my name is Sarah. He says, where are you? Let me find you. She says, I've been kidnapped by an evil sorceress. You must come find me. He said, show me how to find you. She says, I don't know. I don't know where she took me. All I know is there is the sound of constant water. So Angus searched every water source he could find around the country. And the thing about Angus's bloodline is that they have, they have been imbued with a great magic in their blood. So he used his magic to try to find Sarah. And when he finally, finally found her, he realized he was too late. This evil sorceress had turned his beloved into a swan. And he had used up nearly all his magic just trying to find her. So he wept and wept and wept because he knew that it takes more magic to undo the spell of another than it does to cast one's own spell. He did not have enough magic left to turn her back into a human. But then an idea came to him. He instead turned himself into a swan so they could be together forever.